Welcome to the Photo Booth Supply Co. YouTube page. My name is Catalina and I am the owner of Modern Photo Booth Company and I am here to teach you all things about photo booth business. Today's video is all about how to find and close corporate leads for your photo booth business. Corporate events had a really rough go over the past couple of years because their events just weren't happening. People weren't comfortable throwing corporate events. Now, corporate events means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. This could be a charity event, a store opening, a big experiential marketing, set up somewhere so it really just depends but at the end of the day corporate for most people is defined when a business is the one paying for the photo booth as opposed to a person regardless if it's a store opening or a charity event you have to deal with these clients a little bit different than weddings because they speak a different language before I go into my 10 tips, I'm gonna go over my one thing that I'm gonna to repeat to you guys over and over again, and it is to set goals for your company. If you are gonna be going after corporate clients and maybe you wanna focus only on corporate, Great, you should do that. What does it look like in six months? What does it look like in a year? Do you only wanna do events on the weekend or do you wanna be the biggest photo booth company in your area? What are your financial goals? I wanna see that all on paper because it's gonna make it so much easier for you guys to plan anything for your business in the future. All right, tip number one is to go where your clients are. Now, most corporate clients will be found on LinkedIn and maybe some on Instagram as well, although they're a little harder to pinpoint there. Again, make sure you focus your efforts on one or two social channels and this is so that you don't try and please everyone if you know that you're going after corporate focus on LinkedIn and Instagram now I will also say that there is a huge lack of good content for corporate on Instagram so there's a big opportunity for someone to come in and really dominate that area tip number two is to understand the committee whoever you're talking to might not be the decision maker and that's because behind every corporate client there's a committee of people that they need to present to what does that mean that means that whatever you're saying to them is actually going to be interpreted and shown to somebody else which is why proposals are so important when dealing with corporate clients we're going to talk a little bit more about that later Tip number three is to build trust. You wanna sponsor events where these people are going to hang out. And let me tell you that most corporate people, marketing agencies, that kind of stuff, they hang out at galas, charity events, that kind of thing. So you are going to offer your services as a photo booth business for free, but not really for free, because you're gonna do it for in-kind trade. What does this mean? It means that you are gonna set out a huge package with all the bells and whistles. Let's say that's worth $2,000 for the whole night. You are then gonna ask that charity event or gala to give you an in-kind sponsorship package with the same value as your photo booth. That means that your logo will be on the big screen, on the swag bags, all that kind of stuff. Whatever the equivalent is, you should do that. And again, go all out. Show them exactly what you can do because what they see is what they're gonna book in the future. Tip number four is to always find out the goal of the event. It's imperative that you understand the goal of the event so that you're not just quoting out a generic service with little value. When you become invaluable to your clients by providing them a solution to their problem, not only will they not question your pricing, they will seek you out for future events. Tip number five is to always answer your leads quickly. Most corporate people want to work with a vendor that is responsive, so make sure that you respond to all of your inquiries within 24 hours. Also, make sure that it's Monday to Friday because most corporate clients don't work on weekends. Tip number six, you wanna pay attention to this one because it's all about proposals. In your Salsa app, you can easily create a proposal for your client. Remember how we talked about the committee? This is why proposals are important. The proposal will set out everything that you wanna tell your client and it easily lets them take that to their committee and present exactly what you want to present. So no more playing telephone where your message gets all corrupted between you, your client, and the committee. Tip number seven is to set an expiry date on your quote. We like to do 45 to 60 days, and this not only gives us an excuse to follow up with our client, which is tip number eight, it also creates urgency. Tip number nine is to make it easy for your client to pay you, but you might also have to learn to wait. So make sure that you do have a credit card processing system in place or that you have included your ACH information in your invoice. Now, one thing that you might be faced with with corporate clients is net payment terms. What does this mean? It means you get paid after the event and those terms can be 30, 60 or 90 days. There's a couple of things you can do though. One, I would highly recommend that you request a bigger retainer. Anywhere between $1,000 to $2,000 can generally go on their company credit card so that doesn't have to go through the net terms. Also, if they've presented you with 90 day net terms, you can sometimes just ask for less terms and they generally will comply. 
Tip number 10 is to ask for reviews or an introduction. I do find that many of our corporate clients don't leave us public reviews, and that's because they are just one person representing a corporation. So they're generally not allowed to, but what they do is they do send us really nice emails telling us how good our service was. So sometimes I'll write back and just simply ask them like, thank you so much. Is there anyone else in the company that you can think of that maybe we can have an introduction to that might benefit from our services? And usually they are more more than happy to introduce us to some of their other colleagues. If any of these tips resonated with you, I would love to hear about it in the comments and make sure that you tune in next week where we will have a fresh new video for you. Talk to you soon.